Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I fix this big, giant, ugly dent in this Ford Transit van. This is one of the rear doors. I think the customer had backed into something. As you can see, it's pretty ugly, pretty nasty. Uh, so much in fact that it actually bent the bracing behind the panel, cracked the paint in the inside. That's how you know it's bad. Uh, and on the outside, as you can see, uh, with the customer's not as concerned with that. It's a work vehicle, so we're just going to touch up some of that paint chip for him after we're done. So um, getting right into it, I'm cleaning off the panel, getting set up so that I can start doing some serious glue pulling and setting up some tension. Uh, actually use some fire to clean off the condensation on the panel. It just is a nice final step for uh, cleansing the panel. Uh, now I'm getting ready to load up some of my glue tabs to stick them to the outside. These are specifically tension glue tabs that, as you'll see in a little bit here, I use with some of my different tension setups. To uh, These are nice because they have the notches and you can just leave them on the panel with the tools and the equipment and not have to worry uh, about them falling off and, and doing more damage. Um, as you can see, the one at the top's already attached there. It's already in place. Uh, this one below, I'm just showing you um, how I get it in, in place. Uh, and actually, these are super nice because you can just throw a socket on your drill and tighten and loosen them uh, without having to... You can still, and, and you'll see in the video, I use my hands and, and we'll do a lot of like hand tension stuff but it's just nice with the drill and um, setting up some direct tension or outward tension tabs too so the idea here is to be doing both at the same time and the reason why we do this all at the same time is because a big dent like this where there's a lot of metal to be moved is like a jigsaw puzzle and you have to move the pieces in the right order for everything to slide back to the way that it was before a uh, little pro tip here i actually have the top foot of that pulling tower on top of that really pronounced crown um, i felt like it was just giving me a nice um, even pull and, and helping do some work of pushing that in as i was pulling out the deep spot um, just showing it the right right path to head to so um, anyhow now you can see we got through the big metal movements but there's still a lot of work to be done so uh, moving right into that i'm going to get behind the panel uh, this is a stand liner tool uh, i like stand liner tools for the mid part of the repair because it allows me to move a lot of metal quickly without putting a lot of ugly poke marks in it and you can see I'm doing a little bit of sliding here. Um, really, this super thin, high-strength steel in these Ford vans is a real bear to work with. So uh, some of the stand liner techniques have really uh, saved my butt over the years and, and allowed me to be able to, to save some really ugly, ugly stuff. And, uh, and speed me up, too. It's a, it's a very fast way to work. So uh, now I'm kind of pushing towards the bottom. That's a good example. This is just bare steel. Uh, so this is that tool behind the panel. No tape or no softening of it. I'm just pushing on it. So uh, it's a great example of how much power these tools uh, possess and, and how aggressive you can be with them. And, uh, really move things along a lot quicker. Now here I'm showing you a little bit of the knocking down or hammering out of the body waves probably spent a good three hours doing this on this panel now at this point i'm just cleaning up the panel um, i had buffed it already and now i'm just applying some touch-up paint to some of those areas that were chipped off just to protect it and to just make it less of an eyesore one last pan around in case you forgot how ugly this beast was. And here is the after. 
So I try to pan around and show you, uh, show you what I did. Uh, there's obviously some little wiggles here and there, and I and I try to do an honest job of showing you that it's not absolutely perfect, but I like to think I got it pretty close. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my repair process or you think your vehicle will be a good candidate, visit my website. Get a quote. Love to work for you. Thanks.